Hey guys, this is how to put Windows XP or Windows Vista onto your PSP. Um, it doesn't matter what firmware version you're using. I myself am using 3.80 official firmware. Um, okay, so let's get started. First, what you want to do is turn your PSP on. Make sure it's completely off first. I'm gonna go show you guys that I'm not using custom firmware. Version 3.80. Okay. Alright, now what you wanna do is go to your internet browser. And first, I'm gonna show you guys that this does work so you guys don't think you're wasting your time I already have it set as a bookmark PSP Windows XP portal there you go it load up I already have my settings set and everything login screen you can change it whatever you want I'll, sh uh, I'll show you how to change it to Windows XP later on in the video Okay, so it don't matter about the background or anything. Just go to Tools, and you want to go to Delete Cookies. I'm not going to press it because that'll mess everything up for me. And then you want to go to Delete Catch, and again, I'm not going to press that. Then what you want to do is go to Settings, Home Page Settings, sorry, and then the address. You want to put in this right here. File PSP WXP slash index dot html. Enter that into your internet browser. And to do that, and you just click X. Type it all in, you guys know what it looks like. Uh, me, I'm just gonna click use current page. Or, no, I'm not actually. I'm gonna go with you guys on this. Okay, now what you wanna do is turn your PSP completely off. You do that by holding this button up for five seconds. It's off. Okay. Now, you're going to want to download the portal. You're going to want to go to this website. I'll be including this into, in the description, so don't worry. Windows XP. Vista. And when you go to this page, it should look like this. To bring it to a page that says save file and it'll bring you to this and down lower it'll have it'll have uh, PSP Windows XP down here well after that say the file size date and everything just click download file and for me, I have it set on my computer, so this one pops up. So I'm gonna click download file now, and you guys are gonna click save. I'm gonna click cancel because I already downloaded it. Okay. After your file is done downloading, go to where you saved it at and open it up with WinRAR. And next, you're gonna wanna go to highlight this, both of these files. And click extract to. And you should already set it up for you. Click OK. Let it extract to the desktop. Okay. X that off. Now that that's done, um, what you want to do is connect your PSP. Well, first turn on, then connect. So. Turn your PSP on. Use USB 2.0. Uh, 
I'll go to USB mode and plug in USB in top. As so. Just pop up on the computer. Uh, click cancel. Just go to my computer and click drive J. And then open up your PSP WXP folder. Just right click. Hold on a second, sorry. Malfunction here. Okay, just right click copy here. Right there. Or just click copy. And X that off. Go to your My Computer. Go to your root of your memory stick. And just paste it there. Mine is there. Right there. After you've done that, exit off. Um, go back to your PSP. Go to your internet browser. And type in this address if you already didn't do it. And earlier in the video, like I told you to into your address entry into your internet browser and I'm not going to do that because I already have it saved as a bookmark as I said earlier in the video also click bookmarks that's what I'm going to do go down to PSP Windows XP portal and voila there's your Windows Vista version I'm gonna log in and show you guys some features of this. It's got many features, games, uh P says PSP tunes, kinda crappy. <laughs> but in later versions when they update this it should be better. They got a whole shitload of games. Just click start menu. Go to all programs oh it's still loading it takes a little bit to load well, but once this goes away it should be fine um, it'll, it'll make uh, the regular Windows XP noise when you start it up just like all the computers do um, still waiting Takes so long because the PSPs only have four megabyte RAM. And okay, we should be able to click now, even though it still says loading. All right, we've got a whole bunch of features. We got Age Finder, Alarm Clock, Antivirus, Browser Files, Clock, uh, Pixel Fixer. Yeah, and then that's pretty much what you get. All that stuff. Sorry about the video quality again. Okay, oh, for your games, just go over here. Click games. And then it'll bring you to a little list. It'll ask you what kind of game. Just click any game. Okay. Now, I'm going to show you how to put. Windows XP, you're gonna change it. Mine, when I it, when I downloaded it and put it on, it's, it loaded up with Vista. And now it told me it was gonna load up with XP, but it didn't. And I was messing around with the settings, and I figured out all this stuff. Okay, just go to Control Panel. Now, we're going to go to, pretty sure it's themes, looks like that, just click it, yeah, okay, see here it says select a theme, and it says Vista default, see, as I said, my Vista was my default, click the drop down box, that's there. 
and then you'll see XP. Just click it, click apply. After you did that, if you want XP, and click OK. And then log off or close your internet browser if you're gonna keep XP. And shut off, reboot your PSP. And there you go. That's basically it. And that's how to put Windows XP onto your, your PSP. Alright.